The episode begins with a battle between the demon army and the human army. Meanwhile, the leader of the human army is sitting drinking tea and tells his subordinate to let them finish their job. The subordinate orders the soldiers to advance, and they do. The battle continues between the demon army and the human army. Ike stands watching, saying that things are moving faster than he expected. He's sad because he sees that many demons are injured, and their wounds cover their bodies. We see a girl named Lilith Psychopus fighting with a sword which is a bit strange. After defeating her human opponent, she's surprised to see a group of human soldiers coming towards her. She fights them all alone and says, why are there so many of you? Ike's subordinate tells her followers not to let the humans in. The pig stands beside her with his goblin army. He's afraid to fire his weapon because he might hit his comrades. However, the wolf army appears and tells them to move out of the way. They advance towards the humans, easily cutting them down. They continue to slaughter the humans and then advance. They continue to cut the humans with their claws. Then, a human soldier tells his troops not to let the monsters defeat them. He asks them to form groups, and each group should fight only one monster. They then enter the castle to help their comrades, but the goblin soldiers are standing on the walls and shooting at them. The human shields can't withstand the bullets, and they are quickly defeated. The goblins then change positions, swapping between the first and second ranks. This allows them to keep firing and reloading, and they manage to defeat the humans. The humans are forced to retreat, but the wolf monsters don't leave them alone. They try to finish them off before they can escape. But at the last moment, the wolf hears a horn or whistle. This sound means the battle is over and they should stop fighting and return. The wolf is sad, but he obeys the order. We then see a flashback of Ike sitting with the other generals. He tells them that the war must end quickly and cleanly, with as few casualties as possible. One of the monsters replies that this would be best, but asks what exactly he wants from them. Ike replies that he wants them to fight with all their strength. However, one of the wolves tells him that he's making fun of them because he's the deputy commander. The female leader stops him and asks Ike to continue, saying that he must have something more to say. Ike replies, of course. We return to the present and see the female demon, Lilith Psychopus, using her magic to close the gap in the castle wall. This prevents the human army from escaping. We go back to the flashback and see Ike asking the wolf how long he can fight with all his strength. The wolf replies that he can fight with all his strength for one hour. When Ike asks if his followers can fight at full strength for the same amount of time, the wolf says that they can't fight for as long as him, only 10 minutes. Ike tells him to fight with all his strength for 10 minutes and then retreat. The wolf says, if that's what you want, then it's a simple matter. We then see the castle wall, which was recently closed, suddenly broken open again. Red ghouls emerge and grab humans, tearing them apart and leaving them in a terrible state. The girl who closed the wall, Lilith, is sad because she just closed it, and they opened it again. She watches the battle and sees the red ghouls mercilessly defeating the humans. Their leader says, kill the humans, have no mercy. We see another flashback, this time of Ike talking to the generals. He tells them that the wolf team must retreat as soon as the red ghoul team appears. The wolf leader is angry and upset because he believes Ike doesn't trust them and thinks they are weak. But the leader of the red ghouls tells Ike, I think I understand your plan. You want us to switch shifts so we don't get tired when we fight with all our strength. Ike says, that's exactly what I want. The wolf leader tells him, you should have said that from the beginning. I misunderstood. We return to the present and see the battle again. A human soldier climbs a ladder quickly. When he reaches the top of the wall, he sees the girl who's an alchemist. He draws his sword and tries to kill her but the pig appears and shoots him dead. We return to the flashback and see that Ike's plan is to leave an opening for the humans so they can attack. The alchemist girl hesitates a little about carrying out Ike's plan. Ike tells her that the plan is a little dangerous and asks if she can handle it. She replies that she will follow his orders because he is the deputy commander, Sephiro, and his orders are her orders. She will carry them out, even if it costs her life. But Ike tells her, don't sacrifice yourself. We want the battle to end with as few casualties as possible. That's why I thought about ending the battle quickly. I want you and your soldiers to follow this order. They all agree to obey him. We return to the battle and see that the human army has prepared large catapults. They are ready to launch a barrage of stones at the demon army but suddenly the stones fall on the catapults and destroy them one after another. It turns out that the flying black army of the demons are the ones throwing the rocks. They say that the humans' weapons are fragile and continue their attack, destroying the rest of the weapons. We go back to another flashback and see the leader of the flying black army asking Ike what they should do. Ike replies that they need to destroy the catapults and the rest of the humans' weapons. The leader agrees with him. Ike continues, saying that he has investigated the human army and knows that they have 12,000 soldiers, as well as reserve troops. He knows that the human general is from a noble family with a long history, 
but he's a coward who only cares about his own safety in life. His plan is that by creating a big change in the battle, it will force the human general to move, and then they can defeat him and capture him. But the wolf leader objects and asks why they should capture him instead of killing him. Ike tells him, leave that to me. He asks them not to take any selfish action. They all agree to Ike's plan, and he encourages them, saying, we must win this battle. They all nod in agreement. We return to the battle and see the flying black army continue to destroy the human's weapons. The pig and the girl beside him stand watching from afar. The girl is impressed by the power of the flying blacks, and the pig is happy because everything is going according to Ike's plan. The girl beside the pig hopes that her mistress, Saviro, is safe. We go back to a flashback and see her asking Ike what role Saviro will have in the battle. Ike replies that he asked her to do something important in the battle. It's the most important thing for the plan's success. We return from the flashback and see the battlefield. We see the reserve human soldiers in the back. Then, Saviro appears, upset that Ike asked her to deal with the remaining reserve troops in the back instead of being on the front lines. She notices a handsome looking man and says, this man looks delicious. We return to the battlefield and see the goblin team on top of the buildings which look like the ones from Attack on Titan, shooting at the human army. The wolf team easily slaughters the humans. The humans are shocked by what's happening because the castle is so small, and they don't know how to defeat it. We see one of the soldiers giving a report to the general, saying that they broke through part of the castle walls and entered, but the enemy's counterattack was very strong, and their second and third platoons were destroyed. The general is very angry, and his deputy tells him, General, this place is not safe for us. We should retreat. But the general ignores him and says, No, we will launch a full-scale attack with all our strength. When his deputy tries to object, the general says, Don't answer me, just obey. If we can't defeat the demons 5 against 1, then fight them 10 against 1. And if that's not enough, fight them 20 against 1. When his deputy tries to object again, the general says, Think of my position and reputation. If I fail to conquer a small castle like this, my reputation will be ruined. He says that he will join the soldiers who are going to attack this time, which will boost their morale. The soldiers are happy because their leader is going with them. They prepare to attack. Ike stands on the wall, watching them and acting like he's in control. He says, everything is going according to plan. When the human army tries to advance towards the castle, the ground suddenly cracks and swallows the soldiers. One of the soldiers says, is this the enemy's magic? Where are we being taken? But we see that their sorcerers have been captured by the goblin soldiers. We see the leader of the flying black army watching the scene and saying, you did it, boy. We then see the human general suffering from the ground tremors. He falls to the ground, and his horse runs away from him. When he says, wait, my horse, he looks up and sees Ike standing on the hill. Ike says, you're the general, aren't you? My men died trying to find your location. You will pay for that. He tells him that the battle will end if he kills him here and now, especially since everyone present will only care about themselves and will blame him. But if he surrenders and retreats now, Ike will spare his life. When the general tries to object and says, if you kill me, who will give the order to retreat, at that moment, the dwarf king appears and stabs him in the stomach with his weapon. We see that the general vomits blood, and the blood falls to the ground. The dwarf king says, do you remember me now? The general says, you are the dwarf king. The dwarf king says, the time for revenge has come. He raises his weapon to kill him, but suddenly chains appear and bind him. It turns out that Ike is the one who used the chains on the dwarf king. The dwarf king says, leave me, I'll kill him and get my revenge. Because of the dwarf king's determination to kill the general and get revenge, we see that the magical chains begin to crack. When the general sees this, he says, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I surrender. He orders the soldiers to retreat. The soldiers retreat and wonder why they are suddenly retreating like this. They all flee from the battlefield. We see the dwarf king standing beside Ike and saying, this person will come back someday. And believe me, you'll regret this decision you made today. After the dwarf king leaves, Ike says that he's not concerned because they will be much stronger by the time that happens. We see one of the green ghouls yelling, we've won. The battlefield is filled with shouts of victory and joy. The green ghouls are amazed because they were able to defeat an army 10 times their size. Everyone is happy and ready to celebrate their victory tonight. We see the pig crying with joy. He runs to Ike and hugs him tightly. This makes Lilith jealous, and she says to him, get away from him, pig. I'm the one who should hug him. Then, the girl servant joins them, and they all argue over who gets to hug Ike. We see the other generals saying that the commander was right to choose Ike. We then see Saviro surrounded by the human soldiers. Their leader tells them to retreat, and he steps forward to attack her. But he hears the sound of the retreat whistle. He tells the humans to retreat, realizing that they have lost the battle. Saviro tells him, you need to retreat to save your lives. The leader says, okay, I'll see you again. At the end of the episode, 
We see Ike standing on the castle wall. He then removes his mask. The episode ends. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support me.